Hey everyone, and welcome back to Tai Chi for You. Uh, this episode is actually the first one for July. And as a little tradition, what we do is we um, give a little shout out to everybody that's either having a birthday or an anniversary. So the, um, the idea was, I mean, it started out, well, maybe a year ago today, it seems like. The, um, just my different friends, I didn't want to start mentioning names of somebody because I would forget. So anybody that has a birthday in July... If you're celebrating an anniversary or whatever you're celebrating, you're celebrating the 4th of July. How's that? So shout out to everybody right there. Um, the other thing we do is, you know, a little bit of house cleaning, I guess. And we talk about upcoming shows and events. So weekly, we do a Tai Chi class at the Northbridge Senior Center. And this has been going on, I'd say, almost four years, something like that. And it is a beginner's class. Don't think that, oh, these, you know, that they've been doing it for so long and I'm brand new or I just moved to town. And I, you know, don't worry, you know, leave all your doubts at the door. Put it that way. The uh, students that have been with me for almost that amount of time, uh, they really enjoy new people. They they get in actually, and they help teach the class as well. So you'd be uh, you know learning from other students as well as myself. And we teach more on the idea of uh, increasing your balance. It's it's a a mind body connection type feeling. It's it has a lot of definitions. It's, it's hard to explain. It's something you have to experience. So if you've seen it done um, maybe in a movie or uh, live maybe in a park, you, you saw somebody out there and you, you knew it wasn't yoga and you knew, I mean, th they weren't practicing uh, fighting moves, but you, you saw it and you had some interest. There, there's some balance there. And uh, maybe you need some, some meditation in your life. So all these things, um, it's, it's called a moving meditation, is one of the, the definitions of Tai Chi. We also go into a, some of the class, we do Qigong. And Qigong, again, has different definitions, but it is a form of exercise. Uh, it's been around a long time. Actually, it's older than Tai Chi. Tai Chi got some of the moves from the uh, Qigong exercising. And uh, a lot of people like that. It, it took me a while to kind of get on the Qigong train. I was strictly Tai Chi. But I guess it has a lot to do with uh, the instructor. You could get, and this maybe is a case with you, uh, with, with something else entirely, but the instructor turned you off. Maybe you took a, a cooking class or whatever, and and you just you know felt uh, demeanored or whatever if it, uh, after the class, and you're like, nope, uh, I'm never going to cook. I'm never going to learn how to bake a cake or whatever it was. And it again, try, don't give up if that's your passion. You you want to learn Tai Chi. You want to learn something. Um, it, Try a different instructor. So that's that's my advice, I guess, uh, to pass on. Um, so that is one of the events. Also, coming up this Saturday, uh, let's see, Thursday is the 4th of July. So Saturday, there's a class at the um, Alternatives or Open Sky. And uh, get a hold of me. It, it is open to the public, but, you know, they do need to know who's, who's coming in. And um, it's really great because they want people to, to tour and, and, and to know what, what they offer the community. Really, when you think about it, it's, it's all about community, you know, shopping local, um, you know, knowing what, what the, um, the local stores have. And, and, you know, think of them when you're, you're purchasing things. Uh, along that line. But that class is Saturday morning at 10 a.m. And it, I'm telling you, the students, they, they love it. It's 
that class is really taking off in size. We might have to move uh, to a bigger location. But uh, for now, it's fine. Um, I have a lot of fun teaching that. They get a lot out of it. And we work on, um, on you know, still that the balance, that meditation, and, and the gross motor skills, I guess. We, you know, we, you, you um, play to your audience, I guess, is, is what I'm trying to say. So uh, I customize each, each class as to who's in it and, and at what level. So uh, if you're brand new and, and you're maybe a little shy and, and you want to just um, get a few friends or family together and, and uh, I could come over and do a, a class in, in the backyard. So we could all meet in a park, something like that. Uh, I, I really want to just get the word out there so people can uh, benefit from all the benefits uh, of Tai Chi when, when you um, research it. And a lot of um, students come in that their doctor recommend they find a Tai Chi class. So the, there is uh, a lot of, of backup to, to what not just I say, but other people talk about the benefits of, of Tai Chi. So that really is the next, uh, the next class and then ongoing on Mondays at the Northbridge Senior Center. Now, coming up next week, we're going to have a uh, return guest. Remember, we had Dr. Um, and Amanda here, and she's going to talk more about, about health, but really we're going to, uh, because, it, again, it's such a big topic. We only kind of just, uh, no pun intended, scratch the surface, but we're going to talk about those patches that um, she has and the benefits of those and, and what they do. And remember, we try, I actually tried one here. And um, so I'm going to be um, a guinea pig again next week. We'll, do, we'll just say that much on it. And uh, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be a great show. If you, um, you know, get a chance, watch it and share it with, with uh, friends. With that, I guess I can say I need uh, everyone's help. We're at 591 followers. How about that? So, and you're all part of that, so I really appreciate that. But if we could just maybe scratch them on, maybe, uh, was it 591? So nine more? Let's get to 600. I remember, you know, thinking 100. Wow, I got 100 people that, that follow that. Have, have clicked it at least once and liked it or whatever. But um, so let's get to 600. We're, we're going to shoot for that. And uh, I'll let you know. We'll keep an eye on that number. It should be going up. And uh, I'll let you know when we get to 600. How about that? Um, even if they're in other countries. It, I, and I always find that fun to, to kind of watch and see what, because uh, I can see if it's Uxbridge, Northbridge, uh, Menden, Blackstone, you guys are doing great down there. Uh, Rhode Island is is really um, showing some numbers, as well as um, Ireland. That I'm surprised there. I don't know. I got a little little following over in Ireland, the UK. Uh, Spain has some. I can't think of the other. I think Argentina was the newest country. Somebody um, found us there, or somebody rec that knew somebody there recommended us. So uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. So why don't we get up? We'll do a little bit of um, Tai Chi and Qigong tonight. So the weather's been uh, really hot, I guess, really everywhere in the country. But make sure you're staying hydrated. That's why I brought my water. I've been drinking, um, drinking it all day. And it's just, just plain water. But I like adding the lemon sometimes along with uh, maple syrup. And that's, that's a nice, refreshing drink to have for the summer or year round just a, another way to get water into you sometimes water is a little boring and yeah you, you put a little lemon in it something like that so all right so we got caught up we talked about the hydration um the weather's been great I, i'm not going to complain let's have this weather year round how about that so let's just do our gentle warm-up that Ringing the Temple Bell. I like the name of that one because we visualize a lot with Tai Chi. So visualize. And it's, remember, this, this exercise or this Tai Chi, is, it's all about you. You're not uh, competing. It's not a uh, competitive sport. So it's all about you. 
you visualize your the bell ringing right like that and it's just you can do that light little tap and that's that gong and you want to get a little bit of again we're warming up so some variations you can go up on the foot and get a little bit more of a twist but you're not overdoing it I like this this exercise and again the breath is so very important you can go up higher come down tap the sides lower back on your stomach three two one and I always say shake it out a lot of times I just shake it out the idea of shaking and bouncing I guess <laughs> we don't do enough of it that's that's one of the reasons we like to incorporate it when we do Tai Chi that idea of that nice little and again it just can be a light bounce but that idea of getting things moving sort of waking up the body the cells we say getting the chi flowing but it, it's all about again the, the movement and, and loosening things up so the other way to do it is just that gentle that side to side movement we do and this is a foundation a fundamental move that's shifting the weight and again focus it in on you when you when you're doing a true form it's done very slowly but in the beginning you, you might want to just go a little bit quicker and, and get into that zone sometimes you can't just you know walk right in okay meditate okay you know show me what you got you know start the test now all these things it's you, you want to build into it gradually so some of the warm-ups are done and then when it comes to time to to do the form you're you're more relaxed and open-minded and you're able to we go through that checklist of knees slightly bent shoulders relaxed that's the, all day long maybe you're, you're uptight or you're driving you're, you're squeezing the wheel or you know you're, you're sitting too long you know bouncing in the car or the truck or whatever it is and you, you know you're, you're, you're stiff or sore or whatever it is so you want to when you do your warm-up and now you're, you're really ready to, to get into the the zone the Tai Chi you and this is one of the things we do too you know you can bow again make it your own and the bowing is that idea of leaving all that behind and stepping onto the the mat or into the room where the uh, the class is or just that little space that you're gonna work on it so you know you've got everybody fed things are you know you you carved out that little 10 minutes for yourself use it the best way you can and i think tai chi is is one of the ways to do it so we're relaxed we we kind of went through that checklist we're going to keep our spine nice and straight our knees slightly bent shoulders relaxed and we're just going to start to just put weight on one side i don't even want to say shift just yet but get on that that one heavy foot and make the light foot and then when you're ready bring it across and just go to the other side and don't go too far we're not trying to do a um a gymnastic move or anything like that but we're just coming back to center and feeling going off center but still feel that grounding that nice solid connection with this leg so the light leg again when we start doing the form there's our options of stepping back but that foot there is is the solid one and then it shifts and now the light foot this foot has the options of coming around or whatever the move is and then once you drop it back you, you feel that grounded connection so that weight shifting very important and practice this if you get it, it sounds very simple that's all it is but go that deeper route you you have it down that's that's the first part the second part is to start feeling or imagining whatever word you want to use don't get hung up on terms the energy or the chi starting to flow and feel it in the body and now start to shift and turn the body 
So I'll just shift that weight. I have to cough. <coughs> just shift the weight and turn the body. So this is done very gently. Just shifting and turning. And again, this can be done 30 seconds, a minute. You want to do it till you get that deeper feeling of, of the energy flowing. And maybe the hands just start moving all by themselves. But the, the goal is that weight shift with the legs and the, the, the turning of the torso. And we're not overdoing it. That 60-40 principle. So a good 60% of the weight, 60% of a turn. Some people can go 70-30, which is fine. But you, again, you're not turning it into a yoga or you know gymnastic move like that. So those are the two fundamental uh, foundation basic moves. You get that, that's every move with the leg, that, that stepping back, that kick or whatever it is, it's done with the weight shift, the turning the body, stepping out to the side. As soon as that leg drops, there's that weight shift, there's that turn the body. So the other foot has its options of coming out and across. Um, the other basic idea that, that covers really the legs and the torso, a fundamental move with the arms is that up, in, and down, that opening move, that first move that we do. Up, in, and down. Now we're ki still keeping the back straight, knees slightly bent, shoulders are relaxed. And the breath, breath in, and breath out. You notice that 60-40 principle. I'm not overextending, I'm not locking the elbows, I'm not raising up higher, I'm about heart level. And then when I come in, there's my 60-40. I'm not pinning my shoulders back, I'm not coming in too far. And then when I drop, again, just dropping enough, I'm not locking out the elbows. And it's done smoothly. It's, it's, it's one move, but it's three moves in one. It's that up, in, and down. And I'm staying engaged. The feet are nice and strong, firm. This is actually a 50-50. They're both grounded equally. And this is the first phase, just remembering what the move is, and the breath and the balance and all that. Then you go deeper with this move and start to feel the energy start to flow, the chi, start to wake up that energy. Good. <coughs> Let me get a drink of water. Alrighty. Oh, you might even get a sneeze in tonight. Okay. <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. All right. So we talked about the legs. We talked about the arms. What you want to do next is sort of calm the mind. And by that, I mean um, focus. Focus on a relaxation but you're also opening up the mind to uh, observe. So you don't want to be just, uh, you know, so relaxed that you're not realizing, you know, the, the weight shift or, or remembering what's next when we start doing the form. But you want to be that, that relaxed, that open-minded state. And that, that's a little tough to get to. Uh, one of the things we do is that, that hug the tree move. And I guess it's, it's, it's a move, but there's no movement. And this is where the mind, you start playing that game. When you're not doing anything, the mind's like, okay, I got free range here. I'm going to start, you know, making a list and, and thinking about, um, you know, past things, future things. It, you know, what's aching and all these, boom, it's, it's again, never shuts off. So, 
what to overcome that and to, to calm the mind but still be alert is just breathe in, breathe out. That those that's the simplest way I guess I could explain it. There's other ways to, to do it and again um, get all your resources and, and really find what works for you. But if I just sort of think quietly that breath in, breath out. That just clears the mind of everything else that's uh, been going on during the day and what I got to do tomorrow and uh, all that. So that nice breath in, breath out. And some people can, you know, hold it, this posture, just hold the tree. Uh, if you're in a chair, you can do it sitting down. But you want to try to keep the back straight. You don't want to, you know, put the lazy boy back <laughs> and just sort of, oh, I fell asleep. I was supposed to be doing something. Now, yeah, maybe you need the rest, but that's really um, the goal is to, to stay awake and alert, but, but open that mind up. So let's practice a little bit. We'll, we'll go over a couple of Tai Chi moves and maybe a couple of uh, Qigong moves. So when we do that first move, that mountain pose, this one is actually where we go through that checklist and we think about um, the form. So, and then the instructor, a lot of times you'll hear Tai Chi begin. This is where the right foot now is the heavy foot. So the left foot has that option and it's gonna step out to the side. And this next second move is called horse stance. So some people sort of pigeon toe in just a little bit and, and the knees are slightly bent, but if you ever took horse lessons, you know, you're, you're doing that little squeeze in. So you, you, know, you and the horse are one. So let's try to think of that. You and the earth are one. You're, you're plugged into that earth chi. So that's mountain, horse, and then that opening move. Again, great move. We're only going to do it once, up and, and down. But you can do this one many times. And now we're right back to that, the basics, that shifting that weight, that turning the body. As we come up, we're holding the ball. The right hand is high. The right foot is planted solid. Left foot is light. So the left foot is the one that has the options. It's going to step up and out to the side. Not a big step. Lands on its heel. Now the weight shift is going to happen to make that the heavy foot. Again, that 60-40 move. As that's transferring, as the feet are doing their thing, the torso's turning, and then the hands do this down and up. And this move right here, right here, where... Again, if you notice that 60-40, I'm not locking the elbow. Hands are about heart level, just like this. Now the weight shift is going to go back to the back foot. There's that pivot. That, so the option on this next move is a 45 degree out. And then when that weight shift happens with the tor torso turning, something's got to give. I just step up and I plant. I continue my turn, and now I'm holding that ball left hand high. So, I don't want to say it's, it's a little difficult maybe at the very, very beginning when, you, when you're learning this, but you, you, know, you, you watch the instructor, you watch other students, because there is some turning, so now, again, like you, you couldn't see, but when we start off, it's Mountain, horse, up and down, shift and turn, hold the ball. Stepping out, weight shift, pivot, shift and turn, hold the ball. Stepping out, separating the hands. There's that weight shift, there's the turn, stepping up, stepping out. Good. All right, we got all that. We didn't. That's, you do need a little bit of room when you're, you're doing the, the full form. So um, it's, you know, a way to, uh, you know, 
get to a class or do it outside. <laughs> you got plenty of room. Um, the Qigong, I remember I was going to show you Qigong. We do it three moves, three times. That idea of the horse stance, we draw energy up, we make our energy ball, and again, that feeling of being connected to the heart, to down, to the heart, and then we give it away, just like that. We bring it into reload and down. So it's up, palms face, come down, up to the heart, come down, Give it away, bring it in to reload, and down, so it's up, and down, to the heart, down, to the heart, give it away, and then to reload, down, return back to mountain. And we do this little point, that what we do, we call it, we, we plug back in. This does help with balance. Uh, I'll leave you with this tip. If you have, um, and I use it for, for driving or climbing a ladder or something like that. Before I just jump up the ladder and do it, I'll do that little finger flick, and it doesn't have to be exaggerated. Just enough to shoo, ground me. Now I feel more confident to climb the ladder or, you know, start driving. So, uh, had a lot of fun tonight. We'll see you guys. Make sure you tune in for next week. Share this with all your friends. Let's get to 600. So next time, Tai Chi for you.